Hi, BookTube. This is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. Uh, I am bringing you just a little weekend vlog. Yeah, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. If you want to share with me what, how you spent your weekend, um, that sort of thing. Yeah, I'd love to hear that. So as always, if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, you can leave an emoji um, or you can give this video a thumbs up. Um, I will also say there's a couple cat interludes um in this video and so if you're a cat person i hope you enjoy them and if you're not into cats like you can just scroll uh, fast forward uh through the cat interludes <laughs> all right uh i look forward to hearing what you think hi booktube it's friday night and i'm drinking my cup of my nightly cup of tea um, I believe this one is Tension Tamer, which we have multiple boxes of. <laughs> um, we have Tension Tamer, Peppermint, Sleepy Time, so, but Tension Tamer, it, it does, it does its job pretty well, I think. Um, and in the basement, I've got the super soft blanket just in case the cat comes downstairs, and I just... I don't know, I got to leave work a little bit early today, so the laundry's done, I did a load of dishes. I mean, I, of course I have other chores and things, but I kind of want to spend a fair amount of the weekend reading. So Jason's watching a movie, but I was like, no, I am going to go and read. <laughs> and so what have I been reading? Um. So tonight I've mainly focused on my mammoth for March of the Mammoth, which is The Last Chronicle of Barset by Anthony Trollope. Guys, this book is so big. It is just so huge. So I figured it out. Uh, and if I read 21 pages a day, every day between now and the end of March, I will, I will finish it on March 31st. I'd like not to make, not to have a like wait until the last minute kind of thing. Um, it does help me. I don't know. Do you guys ever do that? Like take a book and go, okay, I have, I have to have this done by such and such a date. How many pages do I need to read each day? I find with really big books like Mammoths um, that that is uh, helpful, but um, I but I realized you guys I am reading four books right now, so I have a kind of self help slash uh, professional development um, book that I'm reading. Probably won't even touch that one. I'm uh, reading a collection of short stories, uh, by Ursula Le Guin, and I'm going to be talking to my buddy reader, Mark, on Saturday, um, about that. So, um, so that'll be really fun, and then I can keep going and read some more short stories. Um, I'm also reading Kara Black's Murder in Belleville, um, this is the second book in the Amy LeDuc investigations. So it's a, always a murder um, crime set in a different neighborhood in Paris. Um, and so I made a little bit of progress on this one. I'm on page 78. And... Unfortunately, there's yeah, there's a little more than three hundred pages, but I still feel like eh, I could, I could, I could make progress in this this weekend. So, um, so that's kind of my focus for tonight. What I'm gonna read. Some of you have really lectured me about the importance of snacks on the library cart. So. Uh, which I've already started <laughs> some, a tiny bag of a bit of honey. I got these at the dollar store, um, today and I'm hoping I can make them last longer than the weekend. That might be bad. Um, some caramels car or caramel hard candies Werther's. So I really like these. I was trying to think of things that it would take me like, I would need to like, I don't know, suck on. <laughs> 
for lack of a better word, for, for a while. And then the only thing I showed Jason that I bought was, um, and it's because he hates them, but these, these big mints. And I don't know why, but I really like them. You don't even need to, to eat a ton of them to be, to be satisfied. So yeah, so tea, coffee tomorrow morning for sure. Um, snacks, books, few chores. Just really excited about the weekend and I'm excited the week this week is over. I think I may have mentioned in my Friday Reads video that um, I filmed it a little bit earlier because I was just trying to control the things I could control and let go of the things I couldn't control. I was supposed to find out who my new boss is going to be today and that did not happen. So a perfect example of worrying about something that still don't have an answer for. I am not going to worry about it this weekend uh, because again, there's nothing I can do to control that. Um, I instead am gonna focus on these magnificent books. Hi, you wanna come up here? best I could do. Hey booktube, it is Saturday morning. I woke up at 5.30 this morning. <laughs> it's like, my body was like, oh, you've had eight hours of sleep. Time to get up. <laughs> so, Anyway, but it did give me the opportunity to do a couple things this morning that I want to talk to you about. But um, Jason and I also went to Target. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a big deal, and I did mean to bring my phone camera with me so that I could film some of it, but I didn't do it. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, but I wanted to share with you what I picked up at Target because it may, one of the things at least may make um, another appearance uh, in this little vlog. Oh, I know. I've bought myself a lot of treats, but you know, you have to strike at the moment that you can because I went through several Easter's with no peeps and so it was like, just buy some now. I'm not gonna put these on the library cart. I'm gonna hide them from myself in the kitchen and we'll hold off on, on opening this until um, maybe after St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> but I do, I do love peeps. Do you love peeps? I know, I know they're not everyone's thing. I kind of like them when they start to get just a tiny bit stale. They're kind of, sort of crunchy. Um, and then I found all these cool, face masks like for your eyes so I wanted to um wanted to show them okay so this is the first one it's called the caffeine eye mask with yuzu and ginseng energizes and brightens so I have never seen so many face masks at Target and then I found some that I felt like might be more appropriate for this weekend um this is chill out a calming aloe vera mask and this last one is a calming one. It's called Holler and Glow. Shh, I'm relaxing. <laughs> so reading. Um, so I had two reading goals um, for last night and I did not meet either of them. So this morning, that was my top priority. So I made it to page 100 in Murder in Belleville by Kara Black. Um, there's kind of two storylines going on. One is, um, uh, a whole bunch of, uh, people, they, they call them sans papier, which means without papers. So they're undocumented people living in, in France and the government wants to ship them all out on a plane. Um, and then in the meantime, uh, Amy, 
it, the um, main investigator in this story um, witnesses a, a car explosion and she knows one of the people who's who's injured and helps her helps her get away um but uh yeah so those stories haven't quite merged yet so i'm curious as to how that's all gonna be woven together but anyway so i'm on page 100 of like 340 somewhere in there um and then the last chronicle of barset i made it to page 61 which means now i only have 800 pages left <laughs> Um, this book, you would definitely need to read all of the other books in the series. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess you could say maybe you wouldn't, but you wouldn't understand the relationships between characters and, you know, where, like, have they risen in influence and power and financial status um since the beginning of the series or have they have they been brought low um but yeah so I'm really enjoying it so far the only thing that's irritating me Mr. Trollope is there's two sisters that are introduced in this book um what their, their last name is Pretty Man which is his names are always kind of funny um but anyway so <laughs> The sisters' names are Anne and Annabella. Like, really, really draw up. Like, could we have made those a little bit different? But otherwise, loving it, loving it so far. So, um, I'm gonna talk to my buddy reader um, in an hour or so, and um, yeah, then I will be spending a lot of time reading. Hey booktube, it's Saturday evening. I think we've safely established that Blue is a fan of my my new throw blanket um, in the library here. <laughs> so uh, he's been on it a couple times and sometimes I've been able to capture, capture him on camera and sometimes not. But um, anyway, so, you know, aside from the things I've already told you that I did today, I was starting to fall asleep reading, so I took a nap. I exercised a little bit in, in hopes that that will help me sleep tonight. Um, and then uh, I talked to my friend Mark uh, about a collection of Ursula Le Guin stories that we're reading together, and um, that was really, really fun. So tonight I've been reading my uh, Murder in Belleville mystery. Uh, and I, I'm actually quite surprised at how much French is in this book. I, I think if you didn't know French, it could be, it could be a, a little challenging at times, but, um, yeah. So my goal is to get to the point where I have 200 pages left in this tonight. So, and I'm only about 20 pages away from, from reaching that goal. So I feel, I feel very very confident about that. I've been working on the last Chronicle of Barset. Not working because I am enjoying it. Um, I love, I love uh, seeing all these characters from other stories and how they're doing and what's going on and yeah. So 
this has just been a real joy to read so far. Um, I have made I have made good progress today, so I would like to make a little bit more before the evening is up. Uh, I think I I think I will be able to do that. I've got my tension tamer tea, so just as long as that doesn't put me to sleep, it should be good. I'm gonna get back to my books and uh, drink my tea. Morning booktube. It's Sunday morning super super windy outside I have to take the trash out and I'm just dreading it uh, because it is howling howling outside so that's not very exciting um I just wanted to give you a brief reading update I have not since I last spoke to you read I don't think I've read anymore I in the last chronicle of Barset so I've read about 20 pages, maybe a little over 20 pages a day, um, Friday and Saturday in this book. So I'd like to read another 20 pages today. That's, that's the goal. Um, I mentioned yesterday that, um, I am buddy reading, uh, The Wind's Twelve Quarters. I can never remember the title. This is a collection of short stories by Ursula Le Guin. Um, and we discussed, um, uh, well, we discussed a lot of booktube stuff, which was really fun, but uh, we also discussed the first five stories in this, and so we are going to discuss the next five, um, you know, hopefully, like, in a couple weeks. No, it's a very low pressure, but yeah. I think the next five stories is about 100 pages, so I may start reading the next story um, in this, but I'm not going to tell myself that I have to finish it or anything like that. Um, and then probably the book I made the most progress in yesterday is Murder in Belleville by Kara Black. I'd like to at least be halfway done with it um, today, which I don't really think is going to be that difficult. But it did make me think about the fact that I'm making this vlog, you know, and and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finish anything in it, and it just brings me back to kind of a never-ending question on BookTube, like you know, the pressure, like, is there pressure? If you don't, if you don't finish anything, it's, it's very difficult to talk about. <laughs> reading is supposed to be pleasurable. Um, it's, it's for fun. Booktube is for fun. I mean, I knew when I started this vlog on Friday night that I wasn't going to have anything finished for you by the time this video is done. Um, but at the same time, it's like, I like, I kind of like just chatting with you, but I'm wondering if you ever feel that way. If you feel like, oh, like, uh, like I feel so much pressure to like finish books. Tell me what you think about that in the comment section. I, w I would be really curious to hear your thoughts about that, but I'm going to get to some reading and I will be back. Okay. Later. So I am going to try the chill out calming aloe vera mask. So I think I'm supposed to keep it on for 10 to 20 minutes. So hopefully Jason will be my timer. This is like, like the paper that like a spring roll comes in or something. I feel like all the aloe vera is like coming out. Oh my God. Okay. There's got to be, I can figure this out. <laughs> Jason thought it was going to be green, but it's not. Okay. I don't know. Okay. All right. I think it goes on like this. Hmm, I'm not really sure how I feel about this. I look like an alien. Okay. Now to chill out for uh, 10 to 20 minutes. 
did I like did I put this thing on like backwards? Did the I just I don't know. This was so weird. It definitely is um cold, by the way. Uh yeah. So uh <laughs> I put it on and went and lay down in the bedroom and asked Jason to tie me and he was like, oh my god, he's like he said he was instantly reminded of four horror movies. Uh, he took a picture of me and he's like, this is for my family. <laughs> oh God. Made jokes about Leatherface and Hannibal Lecter. And yeah, so I mean, I think it's safe to say this channel's never gonna be like a beauty channel. I've only done these face masks a couple times, but I don't know. It was just weird. It was, um, it was strange. I, I would like to say that I, I feel, I feel more relaxed, but part of the problem was I was giggling so much at some of the stuff that Jason was saying that, that I'm not sure, I'm not sure I really did relax that much, but, um, and like I said, part of me wonders if I had it on the right way. Like, I mean, Clearly I had it on, you know, where the eyes and the nose and the mouth were supposed to go, but I'm like, is this supposed to be on the other side? I'm not sure. So that's a mixed, a mixed facial mask review from me. Hey, booktube, it's Sunday night. Um, I am really happy to report that I met my reading goals for today in uh, Murder in Belleville and The Last Chronicle of Barset. So, um, you know, again, I didn't finish anything, but I had a good time and um, it was good, a good reading weekend. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, down below in the comments section. Booktube, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll be back soon. Bye.